dawn of Baroque painting marked a new era in art history, led by the enigmatic genius Caravaggio. His life mirrored the dark depths of his art, creating a legacy as mysterious and haunting as the images he painted. Born Michelangelo Marisi de Caravaggio, his journey commenced amidst tragedy. In 1575, the Black Plague claimed many of his family members, forever altering his perception of life and religion. Caravaggio's artistic path led him to Milan in 1584, where he studied under Petrozano. Soon after, Caravaggio found his artistic haven in Rome. Rome of that era was a mix of beauty and brutality, where crimes thrived in the shadow of income inequality. Police records of the time reveal Caravaggio's involvement in various events that mirrored the chaos of the city. His Roman debut, Sick Bacchus, was revolutionary. Until this painting, no mythological figure has ever been encountered in the history of art, who looked so sick and weak. Here we see that he naturalizes the ideal. Cardinal Matteo Contrelli commissioned Caravaggio for the Church of San Luigi de Francisi, birthing his iconic Saint Matthew and the Angel. It is thought that Caravaggio humiliated Matthew in the composition he created. Matthew's confused expression is unacceptable. For this reason, the artist is forced to make another painting of Saint Matthew and the Angels. Caravaggio's signature technique lay in his mastery of light and shadow. He harnessed darkness to unveil details and conceal secrets, forever altering the viewer's perception. Caravaggio's audacity knew no bounds. Death of the Virgin scandalized the church as he employed a prostitute as a model and even utilized a real corpse for reference, challenging traditional norms. Caravaggio's defiance extended beyond his art. He aligned with the Bravi gang, challenging church rules and battling authority. His countless arrests for sword carrying and violence only fueled his infamy. Amidst his tumultuous life, Caravaggio's love for Lena, a prostitute, brought instability. He painted the Madonna and the Serpent, using her as his muse. Before long, the church committee began to interpret these works as blasphemy. During a fight or duel at Campo Marzio, he fatally stabs his rival Renuccio Tomasino in the head. The cause of the fight were allegations of cheating on a ball game with a bet of 1,000 scudi. He escapes the prison sentence for Caravaggio, who has been proven guilty, and settles in Naples. After a while, he made plans to return to Rome, and he planned to go to the island of Malta and be purified from his crimes by taking the title of knight. And his plans come true, but he again broke the knight's law by injuring another knight. Seeking redemption, Caravaggio completed David and Goliath as a plea for forgiveness from the Pope. But fate had other plans. On his way to seek a pardon, Caravaggio's journey ended, leaving behind a legacy as enigmatic as the shadows he painted. If you want more such content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like.